We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to more modded Mass Effect 3. This is Hill here with Commander Leon Shepard. All right, in our last episode, we were informed that uh, Cortez needed to see us. And just before I started the recording, Trainer told me that I have an encrypted message. Let's see what that is. Miranda Lawson. Meet me on the Citadel. Okay. And we have a thank you from Kaylee Sanders. Something about a rare arms dealer. Oh, and Ashley Williams has been made a specter. A lot has happened since I've turned off my computer. All right, let's head down to the shuttle bay. Commander. Sorry. Didn't see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I lost my husband. I grieved. Said goodbye, made my peace. Remember that he cared. I'm sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits. There's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I never felt as alone as I do right now. Hmm. I'm here for you. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here. Anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard. I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. All right, we got four Paragon. Um, let's see. I think I have a weapon. The M8 Avenger that still needs some upgrading. Let's do that while we're here. If I can find it, there it is. All right, so level five is as high as we can go. On a first time playthrough, you have to play a new game plus to level up your weapons from five to 10. Let's go on up. All right, I'm not sure that we have any timed missions at the moment. So we're still in orbit at Grissom Academy. Let's go ahead and back out. Diplomats. Yeah, stuff is going to start happening fast and furious. Dealership. 
All right, I think this has something to do with the weapons. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and meet um, Miranda at the Citadel. And also pay a visit to Ashley, because uh, for some reason I tend to miss out on a lot of stuff that happens with the injured uh, crewmate. All right. We are going to the Alliance docks. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Um, let's go to the hospital first. I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. Might be too soon, but let's see. Let's Welcome see, can we buy, yes, more Metagel? Be safe. Hmm, the guy is still here. Okay, I think we picked up something that she might be looking for. I overheard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone. But I found this while I was there. What is this? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology. But with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. Alright, thank you. Uh-oh. She's on her feet. Ashley? Good to see you up and around. Yeah. Everything all right? I guess. Oh, I took Udina's offer. Spectre status. Congratulations. Yeah, I got Seems the memo. Small compared to what's going on. You earned it. Well, let's go a little deeper with Ashley since she's our love interest. Being a Spectre? You ready for the responsibilities of a Spectre? Doesn't feel real yet. Maybe it'll sink in. I don't know what duties I'll have. Everything's a mess right now. What do you think of all this? You earned it. You're a fine soldier with an impressive record. You deserve this. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. He said we'll have the official ceremony soon. Once I'm out of here. And after? Any plans to come back to the Normandy? If I have anything to say about it, yes. I'm glad. You feeling better? I'm fine. Other than the pile of paperwork the doc's gonna throw at me. <laughs> Sorry I'm so distracted, Shepard. It's just... What's going on? I heard from my mom. They got out in time. They're okay. Good. That's good news. It is. Did your sister make it to the Citadel? She did. But... Her husband was killed in action. Mm. I'm sorry, Ash. Thanks. Yeah. Sarah wasn't much for the military life. We were all surprised when they got married. Everyone's affected. I wonder how many families are getting torn apart by the Reapers. I don't want to think about it. Seems hopeless sometimes. Don't blame yourself for this, Ashley. I know. But I'm her big sis, you know. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced or cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody, but unbowed. What's that from? Invictus, by Henley. Hmm. One of my dad's sappy poets. It's about not giving up. Right. My sister wants to do a thing at the memorial. Nothing fancy. Just some words about the family. It'll be tough. Keep me posted, all right? Will do. And thanks, Shepard. Well, I'm just glad we're on the same page now, and Shepard is not being accused of being a husk. It's quiet up here. Yes, it is. All right, so we've exhausted that conversation. I think we're done. So, yeah, at least I've been able to keep up with Ashley and her recovery. Because often, the times I've played the game, I'm just off roaming the galaxy, and I, I keep missing the progression of her recovery. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Areas tag 
object of interest to you mm. are highlighted on the elevator menu. Mm, I don't know if we need to go there. Let's go back to the, no the bay. I don't want to spend too much time here when there's a lot to be done off the Citadel. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. I know Miranda's around here somewhere. Shepherd, there she is. I'd recognize that backside anywhere. Shepard, it's so good to finally see you. You too, Miranda. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. It was devastating. Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <sighs> Not surprising. Shepard, am I still part of your plan? It's been so long I wasn't sure where we stood. Oh boy. Here I've got to make a difficult choice. I'm gonna tell her things have changed. We need to stay focused on the war, on survival. Uh-oh. We can't go back to what we were. Oh, no, look at her. She's heartbroken. Of course. I, I understand. I'm You're sorry. You're right to be cautious. <laughs> oh, no. She's, I'm sorry, She's Miranda. crying. It's all right, Commander. It's done. Okay. Look. It was great to see you, but I should get going. Are you sure? Yes. I've got some personal matters to attend to. Stay in contact. I'll try. Oh no, I hope I haven't condemned her to death. Wow, I don't know if I could have juggled those relationships though, because if I told Miranda that, you know, we were still a couple, then of course Ashley would find out somehow, mysteriously through the gossip I guess in the Citadel but yeah wow this is gonna be something else alright let's go is there anything going on up here Joker that I should know about Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. Okay. There's a whole lot of crap out there. Needs a bullet between the eyes. Plus, we might need something calibrated. Of course. Human Edie? Yes, Shepard? Let's talk about your body's capabilities. Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. Its optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Hmm. Curiosity seems very organic. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. Let's talk about her work. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. 
Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. You experiment with it? So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. Hmm. Uh, let's talk about Normandy's escape. How did you and Joker make it out of Dry Dock to rescue us? Well, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI. So the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. Hmm, you deceived them. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of Operator Control Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out of the airlock. Mm. <laughs> I would have to agree. Okay, I think that's good. That's all for now. Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. Human Edie. That's, this is an incredible mod. I really like the appearance. All right, it's time to leave safety behind. Let's just do a quick save here. are going to meet with the diplomats. We are in the Pranus system. All right, and free of reapers. Oh, there's their cash too. All right, let's dock. The Salarian Dalatras and Krogan Clan Chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard Varen you unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Hmm, the Krogan deserve a cure. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough! Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. A Solarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. 
Where did you get this? It, it could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? Well, will curing the genophage benefit my people? You need allies. How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkash. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be felt for centuries to come. Let's go get them. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. Hmm. So who's the bully? Look at you alone in the conference room. I don't think uh, we can actually use Jack, no. All right. James, let's see how Edie performs, even though this is the, I, the mod probably couldn't update the appearance of her here. Hopefully we will get the human version when we get to Sirkesh. Okay, we're keeping the Ajax armor, keeping the weapons. Alright, got the Avenger 5. Is this Edie? What have we got for her? Shuriken? Uh, we didn't upgrade the Predator. I need to work on that, but um, let's give her an Eagle. Going to increase his toughness. Look, it's the human ED. All right. So, let's give her some health. First of all, hmm, power damage or shields? We want we want her to stay standing. Weapon damage, tech damage. Okay, increase squad tech power damage and duration by ten percent. We'll take that. And let's have some incinerate. So we'll go with this. And James, what else can we do for you? Hmm. We'll go with the squad bonus to toughen us up. All right, let's go. Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. 
I still don't trust a word they say. <laughs> Be friendly. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. Retrieving them should be a simple matter. Who's the synthetic? I'm Edie, the Normandy's artificial intelligence. Sounds like Joker didn't teach you anything about Solarians. Commander, I have a Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dolatress authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex! No! We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? moments ago hmm. we can work this out I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident as would we but you have something valuable to Rex something worth dying for this matter can be resolved but I must insist he remain under guard <sighs> all right stay here Rex I can handle this Rex if anything goes wrong and all bets are off I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Careful! Watch the containment shield! What the hell is that thing? I believe Liara is well acquainted with that species. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. Oh, that's a bad joke. Um... And the Krogan female? Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tachanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. This old planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Attention biolabs. Please prepare for yon specimen arrival. All right, we got eight Paragon. All right, so um, just a, a word on Edie. Um, the mod, mod, Jesus, the mod author um, preferred to have her in armor in this human form um, instead of the cat suits that, uh, you know, she would wear in the android metallic form. I personally would like to see her in a cat suit and human, but, you know give and take you get what you get what you can get but um you know it's just nice to have her looking human i mean i think she looks fantastic looks like she's part of the crew doesn't really stand out at all but anyhow we're going to end this episode here and we'll continue next time with priority sir cash this is hill and i'm out Thank you.